What's up guys, Nick coming at you with another video on the Gamefish 25. I get a lot of questions and see a lot of uh, people on Facebook asking, what is some recommended accessories for your Sea Hunt Gamefish 25? And personally, the number one accessory that I would recommend is actually right there behind me. It's already actually doing work right now, and that is none other than a GPS trolling motor. So I'm gonna take you guys through the pros and cons of the motor that we have and just kind of show you it in action so you guys can see what I would recommend as your first upgrade on the Gamefish 25. So let's get into it. If you are new to the channel, my name is Nick and I do a bunch of fishing related content on the Gamefish 25. Especially we do a lot of offshore fishing, which is what the Gamefish 25 excels at. If that's something that you are interested in, make sure you subscribe. And if you find any value in this video today, hit that like button, it would really help me out. So first things first, if you are like us and do a lot of bottom fishing, well, setting up and anchoring, it can be kind of a pain in the butt, especially in days like today where it is a little choppy. And the GPS trolling motor takes all of the hassle out of anchoring with just simple stow and go, hit a button and you are anchored up. And honestly, since the day we got it, it has been something that is considered by far a game changer. Anyone you ask that has a trolling motor, especially a GPS one that can anchor you and spot lock is a game changer for sure. Now we decided to go with the Rodan model simply because they are better known for that really hardcore offshore scene. The one that we have is a 36 volt, 120 pound thrust model uh, with an 84 inch shaft and it really just fits perfectly with this boat. Um, it's deployed right now, as you can see, the waves are a little wavy, but it's holding us in place just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys it in action so you can take a little bit of a better look at it. So like I said, this is the 120 pound thrust, 36 volt model. And as you can see, it is very wavy today. It's probably about two foot waves. Um, and it's holding us in place just fine. I actually should probably get this down a little bit. All right, so again, there it is in action. It is holding us just fine. You can look at the power. I mean, you can see the flex in that shaft right there. It, it's definitely got some power. Um, and it's a very simplistic design. I think that's one of the reasons why we ended up wanting to go with this one over the Minn Kota. Now, the Minn Kota, they make a really great product, but this one is super simple. It's just got the trolling motor, the, the head unit, then you got the board down here, shaft, it's nothing fancy, and then it does have a quick release clip here, as you can see. Um, I mean, the Minn Kota is probably just as simple as well, but either way. Now let me go ahead and open up the anchor locker to show you kind of how we have this one set up. So there is the power plug and down there is where it plugs in. So pretty easy and then actually we ended up going with, I know the lithium batteries are really popular now, however it was about a, another three to four thousand dollars so in the gamefish 25 there's a hatch right here underneath this little bow filler uh, we put our cooler there but in this hatch are the three batteries and we actually have noticed that it has helped the ride a little bit because it keeps the bow down and it just really helps even out the ride height on it so let me tell you guys the pros of this one you never have to use your anchor again. Now, that is one of the biggest things about these motors, is just not having to deal with the hassle of setting up your boat, anchoring, getting in a perfect position. And with the game fishes, they actually come with a windlass, which is super convenient. Uh, it helps with you know some of the physical labor that goes into pulling up and setting down your anchor. But on the other hand, the windlass can sometimes be a little bit of a hindrance, especially if you are trying to set up quick. Um, the windlass does take more time to set up and retrieve than just throwing over uh, your anchor if you don't have it windless. So that's something to think about. 
Uh, so it definitely saves time setting us up on spot. So setup time is definitely a pro. Another thing is the ability to be able to move locations very quickly and easily by just pressing a button. All we have to do if we wanna move five feet in either direction is just press a button on the remote. So that is another big pro of this particular model. And another big thing is just the customer service of Rodan specifically is just top notch. You need anything, you call them, they answer, and you get just customer service that same day. Whereas I know with Minn Kota, that is a complaint that some people have had about Minn Kota in general. It's just customer service is not there. But Rodan, it's a local company down here in Florida, and they really stand behind their product and do the customers right in every situation. So that's another pro of the Rodan. Another pro of the Rodan is the simplicity of the remote. I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit about the remote just so you can get a, an idea of what it looks like. Alrighty, so the remote is very easy to operate. It's literally just got seven or eight buttons. You have the four positional buttons right here in order to um, move positions. And then you just have the off. Then you have manual, anchor, and track. Your biggest friend is just gonna be the anchor button, which is just the A. Um, you hit it, it spot locks, you probably uh, get positioned and then that thing will lock you down. Uh, the manual just lets you use it like your traditional trolling motor. You can kind of point it in whichever direction you want and go. Um, like I said, this thing has some pretty incredible power. It's uh, 36 volt and 120 pounds thrust. So uh, the cons are one, it's pretty expensive uh, depending upon what route you go with your installer and whether or not you go with lithium batteries, it can definitely be a pretty expensive upgrade. But if you are wanting to spend uh, you know, a few thousand more dollars on your boat and really have something that is gonna change the game for sure, a uh, trolling motor is definitely um, an upgrade that you would want. So. Other than that, there's really no other cons. I mean, depending upon which model you go for, some of them do have problems. I'm not gonna say that the, the Rodan has been perfect for us. We have run into some issues, but like I was saying earlier, the customer service of Rodan is second to none. They're really good and, and up there, almost similar to PowerPole, where just you, you can't get customer service like that anymore. Um, but yeah, those are really the only two cons I have is the price and the fact that you know they, they can go wrong and when they do go wrong, it's normally at the worst point. Um, but nonetheless, they are something that will definitely make your fishing life a lot easier and it'll definitely save some strain on your back. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy that video. If you have any questions or comments about the Rodan or just about the game fish in general, leave those down in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Or if you have a Rodan uh, or a similar trolling motor such as the Minn Kota, uh, let me know in the comments below what your experiences have been with them. I want to know if they have truly changed the game like they have for us. And if you want to see more videos on the game fish, I'm going to be doing another video on another must-have accessory in my opinion. Make sure you subscribe so you can see that next. And until the next video, I hope you're able to get out on the water and catch some fish.